Well, hello people, and welcome back to the channel. Hey, this video is a little off schedule. Uh, I was inspired. I've been working on it for a while. I hope it turns out good. I want to thank uh, MVP and uh, you, Wildheart, you too. Thank you for your feedback and your comments. Duly noted. And uh, yeah, well, we're going to take off and see what we can get done today on teaching you guys how to do a level one Tuso, Moza, any animal you want. We're going to show you how to get it done. All right, let's jump in and get to work. Anyway, one of the first things we're going to cover is getting our donor stats, okay? And how you're going to do that is you're going to go out and you're going to tame a bunch. Uh, I'm going to recommend about 10 uh, level 5s, okay? Now, the thing about a level 5 is that we want zeros, okay? So, as you can see, I've got this uh, Mosa here. I got it labeled so you can see what the stats are. But, uh, hey little dude. Yeah, so that's my end product up there. 277 so far. That's a pretty nice little Moza right there. But anyway, I uh, want to cover this guy in front of me. So anyhow, this guy's got doning, uh, donating stats for zeros on a level 1 Moza. So he's got three zeros. Actually two that we're interested in. And uh, yeah. We're going to take those zeros and we're going to combine them into another Moza with the opposing zeros that we need to add into. So, for example, this Moza has zeros in health and stamina, right? And oxygen, it's because it's in a water dino, it doesn't get stats in oxygen. So we'll count that as a zero also. So he's got three of uh, six zeros so what we need is to go out and find more Moses that have zeros in weight and melee and food right so three more zeros and we'll be in good shape so what we're gonna do is here in a little bit we'll jump into uh, arc smart breeding and we'll look at the numbers and we'll do some more talking on what we need to do yeah so we'll uh we'll do that but i wanted to get you guys a, a quick little example out here uh with this moza now the thing is is that when you find a level five out there in the wild this is where people uh, get a little confused okay so if you find a level five you're gonna knock it out okay you're gonna trank it uh, you're going to go up to it and you're going to ruin its efficiency uh, by hitting it. Yeah, you're going to give it a beat down. All right. And you're going to keep punching it until uh, its health. Well, actually, until its efficiency hits zero. Okay. But you have to be careful and keep an eye on the health. That's why I like to use either a club or my hand. And uh, in you know basically hit it repeatedly until the efficiency drops once it gives you the efficiency rating of zero bonus levels okay you are good you can let it tame up at that point it'll change from a level five to a level one or not a level one uh from a level five to level six because you get forced a single level on any tame it's just mandatory so if you have a level five and you do everything right it's gonna come out to a level six so don't uh, don't worry about it if you can't uh, you know if you're not exactly uh, level six you know you may tame it at level seven and still get zeros out of it so that's what I mean by keeping an eye on its health. I've, I've actually killed uh, quite a few not paying attention. And I'm looking at the efficiency, you know, as it's going down and I keep punching the animal and next thing you know it dies. So <laughs> yeah, 
if you can't get the efficiency to zero without killing the animal, uh, then take what you can, because you still may walk away with some zeros. And that's what you're after, okay? So any level five out there, once the efficiency is ruined, will tame up at a level six, all right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go out and you're gonna collect, and like I, uh, like I say, collect a bunch of zeros, right? So you wanna get zeros in all of the main stats. That's gonna be health, stamina, oxygen, food, weight, and melee. Now, once you get all five of those zeros collected, then you'll start combining them. Once you get to the stage of combining and consolidating uh, all of your zeros onto one animal, that could be as simple as three animals and two breeding cycles. Or it can take a long time because it's, uh, yeah, it can be difficult. So don't get frustrated. Hang in there. Rinse and repeat. Get used to doing, uh, you know, your daily breeds. Come into the game. Get your level one attempts out of the way every day it's just part of what you do once you get uh, that out of the way it, it, it just falls into place so trial and error and uh you're, you'll get there so one of the recommendations i got for you right now is taking a moment uh to realize that some of the animals that you're going to breed just aren't going to work right so you're going to have to be patient and you're going to have to keep working at it. Maybe you'll get lucky and complete it in a, you know, a minimum amount of time. I've had days and weeks like that, but there are some times I have been working on level ones for months. That's right, people. It's not an easy thing to do, so you might get frustrated, but just hang in there. Do your daily work. Do your attempts, get them done. And eventually, you'll work your way into a level one. That's right. That's why they're pretty uh, hard to find. There's not a lot of people that want to go and tame a bunch of the lowest level animals you can find. Yeah. So anyway, let's uh, let's take a quick look around here. I'm going to try and get uh, you guys into the Ark Smart Breeder here real quick. And uh, yeah, we'll take a look in there and uh, we'll get some numbers up and we'll take a look at what's going on in uh, Arc Smart Breeding. So this is uh, my little Moza here, right? I'm working on, I'm waiting on uh, this one to grow up. It's good Moza. Uh, and then we've, of course, we got all these two sows. Yeah, I'm working on them. So anyway, let's get, uh, let's get you guys back up in uh into the arc smart breeder side of this and i'll see you there Alrighty. okay see you in a few seconds okay so you can see here we've got the stats pulled up on the uh level six moza uh that we're going to use for an example okay so if you look here you're going to see zeros for health zeros for stamina zeros for oxygen because a water dino doesn't get oxygen so uh that's always going to be zero if you're dealing with a moza for example but uh what you're going to want to do is tame a level five once it's tamed it'll turn into a level six okay now you may be able to generate more than two uh zeros per tame you may have uh for example four in melee damage right and one in weight uh these are all possible that would give you a grand total of four zeros you see what i'm saying now people so when you're collecting and that is the key word when you're collecting level fives when you're collecting zeros you need to take those zeros Take those level fives and the sixes, I should say, and you breed them together. 
And what you're trying to do is you're trying to pull all of the zero stats into one animal. That's going to give you your uh, level one. And that's what we're aiming for. Uh, now, why it works better with level ones, and this is only my opinion, is because I breed in color sets. With the color sets being uh, level one, it's easier to breed in a color set and out the mutations on the mutation counters. So it's a win-win uh, on making a level one. Uh, they're super important. Uh, with the new ASA rules, I'm not sure if they've become less important, easier to get, I don't know. Uh, we're figuring all of this stuff out as we go along and we'll keep you guys up to speed as, uh, as soon as we learn something new. Okay, so we uh, have collected probably 10 level uh, 6 Moses, okay? And what we did was we bred all of those Moses together. I don't have uh, those Moses. We lost our refrigerators that had those guys in it uh, to a building collapse. Yeah, we got arced. So, uh, yeah, we, we removed one piece that we shouldn't have, and, you know, a good portion of our base came down. And we ended up losing a bunch of stuff because of it. So, anyway, I did manage to find this guy. So, what we'll do is we'll go for an example on this. Well, alrighty, people. We're going to take a moment here and explain a little thing about, uh, a little something about what I need you guys to do for this. So I'm going to give you a target number, okay? I want you to go out and tame 10, yeah, 10 level 5s, okay? Once you do that, you can have a mixture of male and female. I would, uh, it would be beneficial for you to get more females than males if you have that option, okay? Because each female is an opportunity. Each female is a roll of those dice uh, in trying to get a level one or to get your zeros combined and start working towards a level one. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is go out and tame 10, okay? Idealistically, you're going to have uh, one male with nine females, okay? They're going to have a mix a variety of like what we have uh, behind us uh, we've got three zeros and three stats so what we want to do is we want to collect more mosasaurs that have zeros and food weight and damage okay once we've collected all of these zeros and we have uh, donors for those zeros we'll start breeding them in and combining them once we get a few zeros, let's say we get lucky, uh, like this guy, and we get three zeros, we will transfer those three zeros onto the next one, and then we'll breed in the zeros, okay? So you could potentially complete this level one with the 10 dino base that I was just discussing within a couple of breeds if you're lucky okay it may take longer uh, it usually does because they're difficult see you have a 45 percent chance of picking up the lower number okay and a 55 percent chance of picking up the higher number so odds are against you when you're trying to reverse engineer or uh, down breed into the zeros so what you're going to want to do uh, the more females you have, the quicker things will go. Uh, the shorter your breed cycles will be. Uh, it, no, that's not exactly right. So, your breed cycles. Okay, what I mean is, like, how many attempts are you going to have in a week's worth of trying? So, your breed cycles. Alright, you're going to get uh, better results with higher numbers. Okay, but I've pulled off a level one, and I'm not joking, with three dinos. I got lucky. And you could too. 
Uh, best thing I could say is uh, just start collecting your uh, level fives out there and uh, just start breeding them and see if you can progress in that direction. It's a really simple, uh, straightforward uh, approach. But where I like to complicate things is by making it difficult in the aspect of doing colors and a level one. So I want to do a solid, all right? That means I'm going to fill all of the, the uh, color brackets, the color sections with the same color. That's a solid. So breeding a level one solid is going to be what I'm going to be working on here in the near future. I am literally uh, going to be able to walk you guys through it it's going to be a long process so i will begin it uh probably in my next video we'll start messing around with getting the mosasaurs ready uh for some color uh, sets and level ones once we get that then we'll be good yeah we'll be ready to breed colors and stats it'll be awesome all right so let's get you guys back into the game I have probably carried on a little too long as it is, but I want you guys to understand the importance of a good breeding population. The more you have, the more chances you get. That's just the simple facts of it. If you have 13 females, you got 13 chances at completing your objective. If you only have two, well, then you've only got two chances. So, the more, the better. So keep at it, people. Uh, let's get you back into the game. We'll see you inside. Well, alrighty, people. I hope you guys have had a good time hanging out with Tibbles uh, and learning what it takes to make level ones. Uh, if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns uh, about what I covered in the video, throw that down in the comments. I'll answer them the best I can down there. If it's something major I missed, and I think it needs to take another shot at this video, we'll uh, we'll do a part two on this. Because uh, actually, I'm going to be working on redoing my Mosasaur level one. So what I plan on doing is uh, I'll take you guys along with me uh, when we go out looking for low level uh, Mosasaurs. And we'll see if we can't find some, get them recorded, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll get you guys in there with us. It'll be fun. It'll be good fun. All right. So anyway, uh, this is on her way to growing up, and uh, the mate to this one is right down here, and that one is growing up. Okay. So. What we're going to have is a two-so video and probably two to three days from now. And I'll cover all the stuff that I've gotten done with the two-sos over the week. And we'll try and do a uh, an in-between video about level ones and what we're going to do to make those happen. Alrighty. Uh, if you guys like what uh, I've been putting up, uh, let me know. Uh, hit that like button. That helps me understand that what I've done is a good job and, you know, we'll keep making more of it. All right? Okay, people. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. Uh, take care, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.